This is Longton, part of the city of Stoke-on-Trent that's fondly referred to by the locals as Neck End. Eight years ago, here in Neck End, a local businessman decided to transform a then disused ten-pin bowling alley into a top cabaret night spot. Pessimists scoffed. No big-name entertainment personality ever came to Stoke-on-Trent. Never mind Neck End, they said. They were wrong. The night spot opened and the top stars came. Not just from Britain and Europe, but all over the world. But this week, after eight years of the best in entertainment, the people of Neck End were dealt a savage blow. Yet another victim of the recession. Jolly's chairman, Mr Bill Morris, in a statement to the Evening Sentinel, today said that Jolly's of Longton, hailed by the stars as one of the best nightclubs in the world, is to close as a cabaret night spot. The somewhat unimpressive exterior never did justice, to me anyway, to what lay beyond those two glass doors. It also sat precariously, some said, above the local bus station. In fact, there were rumours at one time that because of the sheer weight of numbers in the club, the concrete superstructure was beginning to collapse, and one of these nights, everyone would finish up sitting on the bus station floor. But if it was unimpressive from the outside, it certainly changed on the other side of those two glass doors. You're the top, you're the Coliseum, you're the top, you're the Lou Museum, you're the melody from a symphony by Strauss, you're a mental part. Jolly certainly was the tops. Neil Siddhartha once said that this equals anything anywhere in the world. The top establishment soon attracted the top clientele and they don't come much higher up in the league than the Duke of Edinburgh. But he too, like everyone else, had to leave his coat in the cloakroom. The top establishment also attracted the top awards and for four years running, Jolly's won the Club Mirror Accolade for being one of the best-run nightclubs in the United Kingdom. Purple light of a summer night in Spain You're a national gallery, you're my hope now The vast auditorium seated 1,600 people and over the years they saw top comedians, vocalists, speciality acts, show bands and jazz bands double acts, stag nights, hen nights, fashion shows and travel shows you name it, Jollies have done it, from Show Waddy Waddy to Cleo Lane, and from Cliff Richard to Bernard Manning. But for the last four years, January has been a special month in Jolly's calendar. For during one week, over 10,000 people have packed in here. They ate one and a half tons of chips, 812 inch sausages, and swilled it all down with 32,000 pints of beer. And they were joined by millions more on BBC TV for the Embassy World Darts Championships. Thank you, Martin. Thank you. One dart could give them the World Championship double 16. That's just a few bars of the party's over, ladies and gentlemen, which I think is particularly appropriate at this moment in time, being the last evening of Jolly's Theatre Cabaret Club, of course, opening in October 73, being hugely successful up until, of course, now. I've made a lot of friends, many, many friends. It's been a marvellous experience for me. I'm very, very nostalgic. Uh, what more can I say? Very, very sorry to see Jolly's go. And never mind, let's hope that sometime in the future, Jolly's or a club similar to Jolly's may reopen again in Stoke. Once again, the party is over.
time to uh, really tell you about what I've been doing for the last eight years. I've been comparing, of course, here at Jolly's, and that's been voted in the last uh, during the last eight years as one of Britain's best cabaret and theatre clubs. Tonight's our final night. It's the end of a relationship which I've absolutely loved. Eight years ago, when I was travelling on a plane to Jersey, a very old plane, in fact, I found Amy Johnson's lunch under my seat. I'd never have thought that I was going to be the compare for the following eight years of one of the most successful clubs in Great Britain. It really has been a pleasure. I've made lots of friends, I've learnt lots of things. I didn't even know what a cane was for. Look what I can do now. And there you go, that's what you learn in eight years. It's always been fun, but it's not always been absolutely perfect. There's been lots and lots of mistakes and we've learnt an awful lot. I remember when Princess Margaret came down and we were doing the show and we had a, a fantastic grand entrance all planned out. The Princess Margaret was to walk through the doors and we were to get a cue from somebody at the back of the room and they were to give us a hand cue and I was to walk out on stage and then a fanfare and Princess Margaret would come down and everybody would stand up and applaud. And we got the cue, the Princess Margaret was on her way through the door and I asked everyone to stand up and the fanfare came on and it was Mrs Mills. She came walking down the aisle. That, of course, was just one thing that's gone wrong. There are many, many things that have gone wrong. But even when they've gone wrong, people have accepted them because that's what live entertainment's all about. It really is uh, fraught with danger, if you like. And it's been my job to try and hold things together when they do go wrong. But really, tonight's a sad night, I suppose, but I'm going to make it a happy night and make sure all the people that are in enjoy themselves and remember us. Remember us for one thing, that we brought happiness to them, we made them smile. If you were one of those people, thanks for coming down. Hope to see you all again very soon too. From Mel Scholes, see you later. How about that? What a super crowd, a nice massive. I'm sure, I'm sure that Donna won't be if I invite on stage uh, with us here. Uh, some people have been responsible for working very hard here at Jollies. It'd be impossible to invite absolutely everybody. But I'd like you to help me say thank you to our dancers who've worked with us for quite some time here at Jollies. That's Panache, the girls from the Tweedale Academy. And also, our musical director. We've had the same musical director, which is very unusual in cabaret and theatre land, for eight years, and he's done a fabulous job. We're very proud of him. John Simons, ladies and gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen, good night and God bless from all of us here at Jolly's for our cabaret. <laughs> Come and join us for a dance, everyone, if you'll do that, please. And thank you for being a lovely audience as well on our last night for cabaret. Join us for dancing and enjoy the rest of the evening. God bless. Goodbye and God bless. Thank you, Tony. Come and join us for a dance, everyone. Enjoy the well, that's Jolly's. Tonight, the curtain has come down. Tomorrow, the shutters go up. They said they'd bring the best, and they did. But now, the party's over.